Meh. Welcome to EVE Online, uh, Major Freak. Probably won't publish one, this this one. Uh, it's kind of a... Eh, doesn't really make sense to upload it, but um, I'm making a bookmark on top of the... And I'll wait till 50k kilometers. Yeah. Warp right on in, and since I'm in a pod, it won't trigger uh, anything but the actual defenses of the FOB itself. So no defense fleet. And if the hauler happened to appear, it wouldn't trigger uh, the response fleet because I'm in a capsule. So yay. Now uh, the Location hopefully is past 1500 kilometers, which is the drive excellent, which is the aggro distance of any defense fleet while the FOB's still alive. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. Anything on grid past 1500 and that way you can stage your guys non-combat included as long as they're in a frigate and above and are uncloaked they'll get the reward for just simply for being in fleet and on grid and it takes about 15 ish minutes for the capacitor to completely drain Takes a while for the fob to target a pod. And the interesting thing is, um, it's kind of like not really off topic, but it's kind of a lure really for the fob. Not sure if we can really take advantage of it. Um, I'm at all three of the belts in the system. And there's no, there are mo no miners, and there's no hauler. Uh, you can see Punishers on scan, uh, five of them actually. Yeah, um, so that's that spawn definitely. But uh, there's no hauler, and there's mo no miners, and this is only detectable in system. This fob, uh, every 12 hours, it'll increase the detection range by one jump until the maximum of five is reached. I haven't noticed anything happen automatically after the 12th hour, after the 5th jump uh, detection range, you know, that's what, 2.5 days or something. Um, I haven't noticed anything automatic happen, like no, it's not like fast breeding more fobs around. Um, I always thought it would, but it, it didn't and you know, I got bored and killed it. Um, so yeah, I'll eventually figure stuff out, but this is what I've discovered so far. I thought I'd learned all I could know about it months ago, but Eve's more complicated. Which is nice that they don't document it at the same time, it just... The amount of bugs in the game, you just assume it's just a bug. That how come you can detect one fob certain jumps away while another is closer and not detectable so it's is that a bug is it just my area because I go elsewhere I can see them five jumps out but here I can't and yeah the it's a catch-22 really I mean I guess it's Hobson choice they're damned if they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't but it, it and it helps explorers like me explore new aspects of the game which is interesting but at the same time highly frustrating especially if I discover bugs you know like uh, the time I discovered that PvP 
doesn't engage automatically the drone drones activity towards them like say rats do uh, as low and high sec but in null sec it acts like a rat like if uh, pvp attacks anything pvp happens to a ship that has assist assisted or guarding or just their normal drones uh, the drones will attack will do their normal thing but in low and high sec it's completely different uh, somebody uh, acquaintance of mine uh, he said that uh, it's probably due to crime watch um, nobody's really gamed it out the people that are have that are really that were really good at gaming out the system have since left the game but yeah I got really frustrated and quit the game for uh, a couple of months because it was just what you know it was you plan for the stuff and then it doesn't happen and you're like okay what's going on and you discover things about the game you don't like um, so yeah uh, here I am just staring at asteroids and there's no miners and haulers so that means that a fob that is not detectable outside of the system is less than 12 hours old and therefore it seems I've seen it a couple of times now that there's no haulers and miners uh, there's a chance for a hauler to drop a skin and they can be quite expensive like uh, a friend of mine got uh, a 350 plus million dollar skin for blood raiders orca so it it's kind of useful to kill them because maybe you'll get a drop like that it's very rare though um so yeah that's about it for what i've learned currently about fobs uh sorry about the tangent about uh drone pvp stuff um but it's good people know about this stuff you know and i i have to continually talk about it too because you know you might not have seen the video. It'll take a while for this thing to drain the capacitor. And I'll just keep blabbing until it does. So we get a definitive time of how long it takes. In the meantime, since we've plumbed the depths of knowledge for this. Oh, uh, the spawn radius of the defense fleet is 350 kilometers which is also the targeting range of this fob, uh, I think. It could be 250. Anyways, the range of all this stuff, the nuding and stuff, is 250 kilometers. Uh, it is possible to get a Cerberus um, fit with implants and drugs. And with the new implants for... Um, missile range it might be possible to I haven't really looked into that yet They're probably really expensive for the moment um, it's possible to get um, using genolution implants and fiddling and I'll show you the implants actually right now repurpose my ice mining implants to uh, have bombardment and that's pretty much all you can get uh bombardment and projection give the same stuff uh then i've got capacity management and then i've got power grid and i've got all this stuff i could probably see how expensive those yeah but it would be super expensive because epsilon are usually real, uh, probably a billion right now ugh to get range but it's also your handicap by targeting range too even if you got past you know crazy amount you still need your targeting range too so you're hampered by that it, i think it's 275 kilometers or something something crazy uh let's open it up might as well we got the time right do a quick server sir 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 This sucker is kind of crazy. I don't think I put in long range targeting as an implant. I think it's the nine slot. Yeah, I did high speed maneuvering for the. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, did I need the. Yes, I did the targeting range. 
uh, the missile range and the farm can talk so yeah that that increases range uh, range of your missiles too so yeah uh, um, with the genolutions it'll give you uh, combine all of them like one will give you a capacitor and then all four will they cumulatively add to that capacitor recharge and I can get capacitor stable on this sucker because you'll need it because you'll get the defense fleet uh, after you at uh, 250 clicks it'll definitely spawn closer than 350 remember so that'll be cap stable with all this stuff and the range on these is just incredible um, quite surprising uh, it's uh, 240 and of course you add the drug and this implant it gets to be on 250 which means I won't get nuded out uh, I took a look at the stats of a Satio this is what I'm be using before the Satio in Losac and it had lots of newts on it so yeah uh, <laughs> not being new to doubt is really important because otherwise you get mobbed by the defense fleet not sure about the range on the dreadnoughts that spawn but I'm hoping it's not going to punk me at uh, 250 clicks but yeah that's that I've never not actually tried the uh, Cerberus's for uh, killing a fob it'd be fascinating to try and I think I should actually do it uh, for this spawn I might as well right check it out um, so it's still plugging away once you know it's drained its capacitor it'll turn to yellow all right and these guys I'm gonna be uh, doing a test of uh, if does um sorry does uh I've got uh, max graphics and uh, anti aliases al aliasing uh, to uh, high for this guy um, and these guys I'll be looking at uh, oh, drone models up these guys have got um, uh, uh, the computers, uh, mid-slot computers for uh, tracking uh, and optimal range. And I'm curious if engaging optimal range increases their orbit distance. I was, uh, I've always been interested in that. Oh, yellow boxing, sweet! So that means it's unable to engage the nuding. So if you sit here long enough, as your guys are getting all together at the staging area, you know, hey guys, we've got a fob, just put a pod right on the fob, and uh, just be careful nobody else warps in and spawns something, because it fob defense fleets will engage uh, uh, pods. Yeah, send you home free. Uh, so yeah, it's totally drained its uh, capacitor. And it will only do the sensor dampening, which is kind of annoying if you've got, say, uh, bombers. You need to get the bombers in close. But the bombers, as long as the bombers um, are on grid engaging the fob while there's battleships remote repping each other, the RR um, BS will uh, drag any aggro of any spawn that comes because you've just landed a bomber on grid towards the battleships. It can happen that you can get targeted. It's very rare, so you have to be careful. Um, I would recommend not orbiting and just sitting, sitting tight and being able to, uh, because if you're orbiting, you're moving, it'll take longer for you to warp away. Um, I'm not sure whether, because the orbiting at yeah, I, I don't know about that. Being orbiting and, and staying still to warp quicker is catch-22, so I don't know. Probably, uh, I'd probably try both. Um, probably sit still and just uh, 
because if you're sitting still, your line time is just the same as if you were pointing at the uh, at your uh, warp out. So it doesn't matter which direction you're pointing. Just as long as you're standing still, your uh, time to warp is the same. Um, and yeah, just just target your bombers at the fob fire and just click on say a, a dock and just be ready to warp out just you know doo -doo -doo, time it out and if you get targeted um, I've got auto targeters on my uh, on my bombers and that'll uh, increase the chances of me being able to warp out on the sucker I'll show you them too as well uh, in the system solar system Yeah, it's a pretty neat fit. I like it. Um, I've realized I could use bomb. I tried to use bombers in, in the beginning, but was worried about them getting targeted, so I never did actually bring them on grid until everything was de dealt with. But now that I know I can manage rat aggro really easily, polarized is actually it's pretty funny. Having <laughs> polarized on, yeah, it's kind of freaky, but it it works. And of course, of course, with ECM. Um, now I've discovered that if you use ECM, I thought it would drag at rat, rat aggro, but it doesn't, it doesn't attract any rat aggro that I could tell using Kitsunes, uh, in previous, uh, encounters with Fobs. So yeah, uh, might as well, right? And yeah, it's kind of neat. So, um. Yeah, and the DPS is very attractive, of course, um, especially against fobs. So there we go. That's that. Um, yeah, I mean, it just doesn't. I've got my uh, setup for Lashax. They don't need. To, they could YOLO in, and they'd be fine. Except, of course, fobs RNG could spawn something really nasty, like full omens <laughs> that would just be nasty uh pro tip don't bring in nesters i think you'll be you'll be fine yeah it doesn't work that way it, it, it the nesters nesters spawn like an insane amount of amount of dps it's uh quite scary you could get lucky and get battleships seven of them but uh if you had three four uh, nesters seven or eight but uh yeah this is the only you'll get a bit of uh sensor damp and then it drains it again and it will continue to be drained this entire time uh, when you've got stuff on the field it takes a heck of a long time to recharge pro tip this is this is why uh why outfitting your your up well with lots of stuff that drains cap quickly is not the the smartest thing to do but then again, if somebody's got stuff on field, it's going to, and it's at damage cap, your upwell's going to die and or get RF'd in 15 minutes anyways. And that's about it.